I'm Darlis Hofer. I'm uh, one of the uh, uh, physicians at Urology Specialists, and I'd like to uh, talk about a couple different topics today. Uh, number one is I would talk about uh, bladder cancer. And uh, there are bladder cancers uh, common in mostly the older population. It uh, has uh, some significant problems, but doesn't have to be a, a very, very sil serious illness. But anytime somebody hears the word cancer, they always get a little bit uh, excited as they should. Uh, bladder cancer comes down to stage and grade. Stage is how far advanced something is, and grade is how fast it grows. 80% of bladder cancers are superficial, meaning that they can be managed endoscopically. Often it's just an outpatient, and as long as they are managed and uh, don't become too numerous or put down roots, as I like to say, which would be an invasive stage, they can be managed just very easily and patients can live a completely normal uh, life with a very little difficulty or problems with the bladder cancer. So, so most bladder cancers initially presents with a gross hematuria or blood in the urine. And sometimes it can be just with microscopic blood, but most of the time it's very obvious with dark red uh, blood in the uh, toilet. That pre usually precipitates an exam such as a CAT scan to assess the kidneys and to examine the bladder. Small cancers can be missed or not seen well on x-ray and that is why we almost always do a scope procedure usually initially in the office to see if there are small little polyp sized tumors like the size of a eraser on a pencil. Once you have a known bladder cancer it comes down to what the stage of it is. And once again, stage is how fast some, or how deep the roots are. I like to uh, describe the analogy of the story of bladder cancer are like weeds. And if I go out into the pasture or into the field and I pull up a weed and it has no roots, I know that it's all gone. But if I go out and take a spade and it has deep roots and I spade through and I cut through the root and I look at it and I know that the root has been broken off, into the deep part of the field in the dirt, then I know that I didn't get it all out and that would be a T2 tumor, so a deeper stage and know that it's not all been removed. As I said before, 80% of bladder cancer is superficial and can be managed superficially and does not have roots. But if it does have deep roots, then it gets to be much more difficult. And so those patients often can be uh, managed with another endoscopic procedure to confirm the, the stage or the deepness of the roots. And if we're fairly certain that we've not got it all out or based on some other facts, it's going to be recurrent and have a high chance of spreading, well, we recommend that those patients have their bladder removed, which is a very serious operation, obviously. Uh, many patients asked if I have my bladder removed, how, how do I urinate, what do I do? And the next step is usually we do something very similar to a colostomy. We isolate a segment of bowel and, you, and we drain the urine into that bowel and it comes to the skin and it drains just urine and, and uh, obviously no stool. Those patients can live completely normal lives. Many people don't even know that they have that appliance that drains the urine to a, a skin appliance and they're often very much cured with the disease and have no problems with, with the sequelae going for, for, uh, forward. And that's the whole idea to cure the patient of the disease. So 